This video is to show how to take apart the bowl on a high-speed tramp oil centrifuge, clean the bowl, and then reassemble it. These centrifuges can be found on the portable tramp oil separator units, CRS coolant recycling systems equipped with a centrifuge, and the sump dock. This is necessary to clean the centrifuge bowl of accumulated solids and sludge. First, unplug the unit from electric power. Unhook the two hoses at the cam lock quick disconnect fittings on the hood. Connect the free ends together to prevent any dripping of fluids. Using one of the supplied multi-tools or an appropriate size wrench, loosen and remove the pipe plug on top of the hood and set aside. Next, slip one of the tools over the exposed part of the handle connection piece. Insert the T-hex tool down the hole and into the connection piece. Hold the T-wrench and then move the multi-tool clockwise until you feel the connection piece can be lifted up and down freely. You do not need to remove the connection piece. Remove the two nuts and one bolt that hold the hood down. Lift the hood and set aside. Now you can see the bowl assembly. Using both multi-tools, hook one onto the slot of the stainless steel locking ring and the other into the brass centripetal pump chamber opposite of each other. Loosen the chamber by moving the wrench clockwise. Remove the pump chamber, the centripetal clean coolant pump, and the regulating ring and set aside. Place one tool over a stud and place the end into one of the slots on the bottom plate of the bowl. Place the other tool on the locking ring and loosen by unscrewing the locking ring clockwise. Set it aside. Place your thumbs on the brass piece sticking slightly above the bowl top. Reach down with your fingers to the lower part of the bowl top and lift straight up. If the unit has been used, fluid will flow out of the bowl and drain out of the frame. The disc stack is now exposed. On top is the thick separating disc. This keeps dirty fluid below it and allows clean fluid to raise up between the fins to be discharged out of the bowl during operation. The conical discs below the separating disc are used to divide the dirty fluid into many thin layers to enhance the separation of tramp oils from the coolant. They help direct flow, heaviest down and out, lightest up and in. They also act like a spring, so when the bowl is assembled, everything is very tight. The discs all look alike, but there are actually two different ones. If you look at the ID of the disc, on one of the locating ears, there will be a small slit in half of the discs. When replacing the discs on the spindle, alternate the styles. They should stack up so they are close to the top and will allow you to push down on the stack a little. There is no need to remove and clean the discs as long as solids have not built up from the bowl top into the discs. If buildup occurs, fluid cannot flow freely. The coolant will not be clean and much of it will flow out the tramp oil line. Cleaning the unit before the solids build up into the discs is a much simpler and quicker task. If you have removed the separating disc, reinstall on the spindle. The solids removed by the centrifuge will accumulate on the outer side of the bowl top. Removable and reusable sludge liners are provided to capture these solids to make cleaning and removing solids easier. The liners are split to make them easy to remove and install. Use a thin screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers to grab an end and twist while pulling it out of the bowl. The solids will be in the form of a sludge. Scrape the sludge from the liner and wipe clean. These liners can be reused until they crack or break. Once clean, tighten the liner into a smaller OD and slip inside the bowl top. Place the bowl top straight down over the bowl bottom and disc stack. If assembled correctly, the bowl top will seat with no gap at the bottom and the top of the separating disc will be sticking above the bowl top lip. Screw the locking ring in by hand. Using both multi-tools, Place one tool over a stud and place the end into one of the slots on the bottom plate of the bowl. Place the other tool on the locking ring and tighten by screwing the locking ring counterclockwise. Place the regulating ring and the lock ring on the O-ring so it is centered inside the lock ring. Place the centripetal pump on top of the ring. Screw the brass centripetal pump chamber into the lock ring by hand. Using both multi-tools, hook one into the slot of the stainless steel locking ring and the other into the brass centripetal pump chamber opposite of each other. Tighten the chamber by moving the wrench counterclockwise. You should see at most one thread on the OD of the pump chamber. If more threads are showing, the regulating ring was not centered, 
and you need to unscrew the pump chamber and recenter the ring. Place the hood back on the frame. Make sure the quick disconnect fittings are pointed toward the hoses. Make sure you tighten the bolt first as it presses down onto the limit switch. This switch prevents the unit from running if the hood is not installed. The bolt must be tightened first to be sure it pushes down on the limit switch correctly. Do not over tighten the bolts or nuts, just enough to hold the hood firmly in place. Place one multi tool over the handle connection piece and insert the T wrench down the inside of the piece. Hold the T wrench steady and move the multi tool counterclockwise. The handle connection piece screws into the centripetal pump and holds the pump inside the pump chamber so that it does not touch any surfaces. Install the pipe plug on top of the connection piece and tighten to just snug. Reinstall the hoses to the hood using the cam lock quick disconnect fittings. The unit is now ready to be put into service.